Hey guys, Catman9654 here, back in a new video, and today I'm going to be showing you the brand new Vanilla Resource Pack. This is an awesome looking resource pack that adds a lot of cool textures. Let's get started. Okay, so right now there's only one link in the description, and that is the Clear Vanilla Resource Pack. Now this has a lot of changes, the whole description, you can go and read through that, but I already have. It changed a lot of stuff, and most of them look amazing. So once you scroll all the way down, you see two downloads, Clear Vanilla Default Textures and Clear Vanilla Classic Textures. I'm going to click on Default Textures, it'll take you to a Mediafire download. Then click on the Clear Vanilla Default. Download. It'll download the MC Pack. Okay, so now you're going to want to open up your file explorer. Now it will most likely be in the Downloads folder, but I just moved it to a Minecraft Tutorial folder. And once you have it located, simply just double click on it. It will start loading in. Give it a second. Import started. Wait for it to finish importing. Successfully imported clear vanilla default. So now once the resource pack has loaded in and been downloaded and all that stuff, simply just press play, create new, create new world, and go down to resource packs, my packs, click on clear vanilla, activate and then press settings just like that scroll a bar all the way down to smooth now you can play around with the world settings and all of that stuff okay so now we're kind of going to get to the showcase part of the video where i show you everything about the pack and what it can do and most of the textures so let's get started okay so let's get started with the door first we have the redstone texture change this is one of my favorite texture changes. it looks so nice like it looks really really clean next is the sticky piston change now this might be one of my favorite changes yeah it is because with the sticky piston like this it used to only show the stickiness on the front but now it shows it on the sides so if you're building something where there's like blocks here 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 and you couldn't tell if it's a sticky piston or a piston well now you can and also on the back there's a little indicator piston sticky piston the next change is the redstone torch change they just changed the texture a little bit i mean i don't really know how i feel this one it's cool but it's like, not like the biggest change. The next one is, might actually be my favorite, the hopper change. It's so annoying to see like, oh, which way is my hopper facing? What chest is it going into? But now that's all been solved because the little arrow is pointing at this chest. But if there's another chest coming out right here, it'll be pointing at that one because that's the one that it's going into. And also the other hopper change, there's like two, is that if a hopper is locked by redstone, it'll turn red. And if it's not locked, it'll turn like the normal color of the texture. The next one's just a little bit of texture change for the dropper and the dispenser. You can see they have these little things on the sides and the top. Not much, but just little indicators just so you can tell which one is which. Okay, so the next texture change is actually the daylight sensor. If you were to right click on it and switch it to night mode, then it originally would have still had this wood right here and just these would have been blue. But now the whole thing turns blue, which I mean, that's a pretty, that's a pretty cool texture change. The next texture change has to do with farming and pumpkins and melons. Now, it seems like there's a new stage with pumpkins and melons, but it's just replacing the texture for another stage. When it's the same color as the crop it's growing, in, like with pumpkins and melons, that means it's the stage where it's going to start like growing, like planting, like this one. And also, there's a new change to jack-o'-lanterns and carved pumpkins. They have a little texture change like this. I mean, it looks pretty cool. And also, the carved pumpkins, when you put them on your head, they do not show, like, they don't show that little, like, thing around your eyes that used to really get annoying when you're in the end. So, yeah, I mean, that's a really cool texture change. And also, there's been some texture change with a nether wart. There's some growing texture changes like this. I think they look pretty cool. Now, the texture change after this one right here is one that I really like. It's the furnace, smoker, blast furnace, and barrel texture changes. The furnace looks different, like this... So does the blast furnace and so does the smoker. And also when you open up a barrel, it has fish inside now, like that. Now let's go to the nether and see what changes are there. Let's hop in. I'm gonna walk out. And first, there are some changes with the respawn anchor sounds. I'm gonna turn up my Minecraft sounds really quickly so you guys can hear that. probably just heard that sound i mean they're actually pretty cool it sounds more like nethery like spooky and stuff like that 
And now the final texture change that I'm going to show you in the nether is campfires. Now this is a normal campfire, but the soul campfire, that looks way cooler. It has like that, that like blue wood. I think this looks so cool. I think I'm going to start using this block with this texture pack like in building. That might, that's probably my favorite. Now let's hop back through the nether and I'll show you a couple more. These are the final two major ones that I'm going to show you. First, the chest texture and spawn eggs. Now they have like how much health they have and little stats about them, which is really cool. And then there's also the trapped chest texture that looks different, just like this. Now the other texture change that I do want to show you is pressure plates. They just have these little things to show you like, oh, they're pressure plates and not the actual blocks. And yeah, that's pretty much all the texture changes except one. I'm gonna get another right sword. And it'll show you how much damage they do and how much durability they have and all that stuff, which I think this is a really amazing change and very helpful. If you did end up enjoying this video, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below your favorite part of this video. Bye for now!